You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days of Our Lives fans, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your early edition weekly spoilers for Monday, March 25th through Friday, March 29th. We've got juicy stuff. We've got a couple of spoilers for each and every day. Next week, front burner storylines are moving along in a big way. Hey, if you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates. Now we're going to jump right in, and as we always do with the early editions, we just run real quick through what's happening the rest of this week week to give you context for what is coming next week and it is all good stuff Wednesday March 20th Eric suspects that Holly knows more than she's saying about Tate he had that very interesting conversation with his brother Brady now Eric is really taking a close look because he's very worried about his nephew and if she's holding back I don't think he's going to like it. Johnny tells Chanel, even though they have to get out of their bed at the end, that they should definitely go on their honeymoon, and I think that might get scary. EJ is wondering where his brother Stefan is because he's about to send him off to where? Siberia? I don't even know. EJ is being such just the worst, not just worst brother, worst human Trying to send his brother to North Korea? Come on. I want this all to blow up in EJ's face in such a big way. Constantine gets together with Teresa, and he reminds her that they are supposed to be gold digging with Alex and Maggie Kiriakis, and he wants her to get back on it. Xander and Sarah are enjoying their sexy alone time, but they really are missing Victoria. Looks like they're going to run pick her up on Wednesday, Thursday. March 21st, Jada tells Harris, you got to cut Ava out of your life. Get rid of the mob princess before it ruins your career in law enforcement. Steve and Johnny have a surprise for Paulina Price and Abe Carver. They have a little celebration for them. And Leo Stark is out looking for juicy gossip for his lady whistleblower column. Looks like he's going to find some. And Stefan is drunk and completely perplexes and shocks Chad with the stuff that he's saying. That takes us to Friday the 22nd. John tells Marlena that he's going to go tell Constantine he's sorry and turn himself in. I don't think the the Salem PD can do anything about this alleged murder in Greece decades ago, but if John turns himself in to take credit as the sole person who helped Clyde escape, they would definitely prosecute for that. I don't think John cares anything about protecting Ava, but he does care about protecting Steve and he thinks he is due some punishment. So that may be the crime he goes down to confess to. We will see. Stefan turns himself into the cops. He thinks he's going to get this deal with the Salem PD. Harris is telling Ava he's not sure it's going to go quite the way that Stefan wants it to. EJ is shocked. EJ should be pooping his pants because Stefan could throw him under the bus as well. Remember, Harris told Stefan he had to take credit for all the bad deeds and shield Ava from any possibility of prosecution. So I just don't think Stefan's going to go down like that. I think he's going to try to weasel his way into a more advantageous deal, but he is going to be gone After Friday, we've got Brandon Barish out for eight weeks of paternity leave. So he's going to get tossed in jail or run away, protective custody, something. We'll see how it goes. And Nicole bickers with Sloan. Sloan tells her she does not want her at Baby Jude's christening ceremony. Looks like Eric is going to see this and he is not going to be happy. Not one little bit. And again, I'm still wondering, are we going to christen a blanket or are are they going to drop that that minimum wage scale thing and actually have a real baby for this christening? It's days, so who even knows? That takes us into next week, Monday, March 25th. We've got John Black just really struggling with these feelings about his dark past. So I think that he doesn't immediately take himself over to the Salem Police Department. And Marlena and Steve are still trying to talk him down, talk him off the ledge. And, you know, he definitely thinks he is needs punished. He's tormented. And Marlena has to get through to her husband. Meanwhile, Kristen Demera gets together with Alex Kiriakis 
office and they are cooking up a plan to try and make Teresa Donovan and Brady Black jealous because they each want to be with one of that couple. And this this is mm, it's an okay scheme. It's a typical soap scheme. I love Kristen. I love Alex. I'm there for it. I'm excited to see what they come up with. Tuesday, March 26, more on that scam. Kristen manipulates Teresa to think that she is into Alex. It looks like she's being very creative. Is the the uh, creative is the word used in the official spoilers? So I don't know. Kristen's thinking outside the box, and she's a master schemer. So I don't think Teresa stands a chance. Although Teresa herself is a master schemer, so we'll see how it goes. Wendy and Trip discuss what is next for them. They had that little impromptu wedding ceremony in the big beer tank. And when Tripp was brought back around from CPR, the first thing he asked was, where's my wife? Are we about to have another wedding? Are we going to get like a May sweeps wedding for these two? I think it's really, really sweet. But things you do right before you die versus things you do for the rest of your life. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. Wednesday, March 27th, Holly Jonas is finally, finally ready to come clean to her mom about the drugs and Tate Black being innocent. But based on a spoiler for Friday I'm about to tell you about, I'm not sure she gets the chance because anytime she tries to talk about Tate not being responsible, it's like Nicole has earplugs in, EJ has giant earplugs in, plus his a-hole attitude, and they're just not listening to her. We'll see if they will listen this time. Speaking of listening, we've got Everett talking to Stephanie, who is listening, and they discuss where they are now. She likes Everett, but I don't think she's going to like Bobby very much. And Bobby is who he really is. So it's kind of twisted because if this therapy with Marlena reverts him to his real personality, it looks like the real guy is kind of a tool. So very, very weird. Not only is he a tool, I think Bobby might just be an out and out bad guy. We'll see. Thursday, it is the start of Jude Brady's couple they're going to have at least two episodes on this christening it may leak over into the following week we shall see but his christening day arrives on thursday the 28th and melinda reminds leo why he needs to keep his trap shut so it looks like leo is going to ignore sloan's statement that he is not welcome at the christening because eric brady who is the baby daddy although leo doesn't know that um invited him to to the christening. I just wonder if Leo is going to try some last minute thing to still slide himself in there as maybe a backup godfather or something. Friday the 29th, Holly comes clean to Eric Brady. She is at the christening as well. And I wonder if she is going to tell him that Tate is innocent and maybe that her mom and stepdad won't listen. We'll see how it goes. And Sloan, Leo, and Melinda make a pact on Friday. We have been promised by executive producer Ken Corday that Sloan is going to give that baby back, but in such a way that Nicole and Eric don't initially at least know the truth about what happened. So maybe this pact is when that starts out. We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to see next week. I think those were were good spoilers. I'm excited to read your comments. Definitely subscribe if you have not yet. And please come back soon. This is the number one soap channel on YouTube. We are excited to have, I think, over 115,000 followers right now. Thank you guys so much for your support. Come back every day. We are talking days of our lives, seven days a week. And as always, I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.